These are visuals of India's latest missile, the Nirbhay cruise missile being test fired from Odisha's coast from the integrated test range in Chandipur. The missile's flight path was actively tracked by an IF Sukhoi 30 NKF fighter jet and met all targets. India is making rapid strides in its missile technology to face the threat from the Chinese PLA's rocket force. While the Nirbhay represents India's long-range strike capabilities with the cruise missile capable of hitting targets at 1,000 kilometers or more, India has also test-fired its air-to-air -air supremacy missile, the Astra Mk2, which will soon be inducted into the Indian Air Force fleet. The 350-kilometer range hypersonic Astra 3 missile is also under development. So why is India focusing its military and scientific might behind its missile arsenal? And more importantly, how do Indian missiles compare to their Chinese counterparts? Will India be able to go head-to-head -head with Chinese PLA if the need arises? India and China, the two most populous nations in the world, keep on locking horns time and again. These two nations share a border of over 4,000 kilometers and have had several ongoing border disputes. China claims the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh as South Tibet, whereas India claims Aksai Chin in Ladakh, which was occupied by China after the 1962 war. But while everyone knows about the 1962 war and the 2020 Galwan Valley standoff, there have been several other armed and tactical confrontations between Indian and Chinese troops. These two nations came to blows again in 1967, five years after the 1962 war. While the years-long Sumdurong Chu Valley standoff was ended in 1987 without bloodshed. Though the two armies control the situation after the 2020 Galwan Valley clashes, the threat of another India-China war can never be ruled out. Now, this is why India is rapidly advancing its missile force. The subsonic cruise missile nearby was test-fired, replacing the old Russian system with indigenous propulsion system. Now, this ensures a domestic supply chain, ends reliance on imports and provides a cheaper yet accurate missile to hit long-range targets at 1,000 kilometers or more, which not even the formidable BrahMos missile can reach. The DRDO or the Defense Research and Development Organization is the R&D department of the country handling military technologies and missile manufacturing works. Apart from the ITCM, Indian Air Force is looking forward to retesting and inducting the Astra Mk2 BVR missile this year. Now, BVR or the Beyond Visual Range Missile is a form of long-range air-to-air missile. Astra 2 has been upgraded with a range of 160 kilometers, up from the 100 kilometer range of Astra Mk1 missile already in service. The cutting-edge Astra Mk3 is also in the making with a range of 350 kilometers at hypersonic speeds. The Astra Mk3 would make Indian Air Force a formidable power capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Chinese PLA. In today's modern electronic warfare, BVR capabilities often decide the contest even more than dogfights, as fighter jets tends to shoot from longer distances. The Astra 2 missile has been test-fired from an IF Sukhoi 30 NKI fighter jet, while the Astra NK-1 has been test-fired from an indigenous LCA Tejas jet. Indian Air Force has placed an order for 248 Astra missiles, while the Navy is buying 48 of these Indian missiles. Now, if we compare the BVR capabilities of the Indian and Chinese sides, then we may get a clear picture. So, let's first take a look at the Chinese BVR missiles. P-12. The development began with the SD-10 name in 1997 and was deployed in the year 2005. The missile is prepared with the help of Russian Vimpel NPO and INGAT. The range is not more than 100 kilometers. This BVR has a passive homing mode to be used against AEW aircraft and other jammers. PL-15 The development began in 2011 and was deployed in the Army in the year 2015. This missile is borne by the Shenyan J-16 fighter jet. The range is more than 200 kilometers. This BVR has huge lethal power. In response to this Chinese missile, the United States of America started preparing the AIM-260 JATM to replace the AIM-120 AMRAAM. PL-17 Tested and deployed in 2016, this is by far the most lethal and long-range air-to-air missile in China's inventory. It has been tested on Shenyang J-16 and the range is a whopping 400 kilometers. This missile is prepared to target bigger enemies like tankers and AEWNC aircraft. PL-21 
The PL-21 is said to be an active radar-guided air-to-air missile. According to Chinese experts, the PL-21 resembles almost the same power as AIM-260 manufactured by the USA. The range of this missile is said to be 300 kilometers. PL-21 is said to be a dream project of the Chinese government. Now, these are the main BBR missiles available in the Chinese Air Force fleet. They have also a lot of varieties available under each category. Now, while China offers so much, its main regional rival, India, cannot stay behind. India also has developed a series of BBR or beyond visual range missiles. Let's quickly go through them once again. The Astra MQ-1 The Astra MQ-1 is an indigenous Indian BBR missile designed and developed by DRDO, guided under the Russia's GAT. But the whole manufacturing takes place in India itself. In a tail mode, it has a range of 60 kilometers, and in the head mode, it has a range of 110 kilometers. The best part of Astra MK1 is that it has electronic countermeasures. Now, this means that if the enemy uses electronic countermeasures, then also the Indian Astra missile will engage its enemy. Even after the missile is launched, it can re engage its target mid flight. Astra MK2. Now, in October 2022, the Indian Air Force released the testing footage of the Astra MK2 missile, fully developed by the DRDO. This missile was launched from a Sukhoi 30 MKI jet. The missile was launched using a Unified Common Launcher, or UCL, which was again developed by the DRDO. Now, this missile is a huge achievement for India. The range of this missile is set to be around 130 kilometers. The missile will be tested, finally tested and deployed this year itself in 2024. The Astra MK3. This missile from the DRDO will include solid fuel ramjet technology. With SFDR propulsion, this missile was test fired in 2023. The missile is said to have supersonic, even hypersonic speeds. The missile comes with a thrust modulation system, nozzle-less booster and sustainer engine. While India is catching up to China, the missiles in its arsenal are set to be impressive. Astra MK-1 missile has impressed Brazil, who wants to incorporate these missiles with their Gripen fighter jets. According to reports, several countries which operate Russian or Soviet fighter jets are keen to induct Indian Astra missiles, which have proven to be superior to the Russian R-77 missiles. You too can have your say, can India's missile arsenal become its best deterrent against any Chinese threat? Leave a comment below and remember to hit the like and subscribe button.